Are you ready for Advent? Let's talk about that. Hi, Bridget Ayer here with All About the Grace and I'm recording this actually really early in the morning because everybody's asleep so I can do this <laughs> and not get interrupted unless my dogs start barking. Okay, are you ready for Advent? I'm going to show you um, how I get ready for Advent um, and I'm, I'm recording this well before Thanksgiving because I have to get myself together. Um, I did another video on simplifying your Christmas and the reason I did that video is that when you can simplify your Christmas in advance you can really um, concentrate on Advent and the liturgical season of Advent and what I love about being Catholic what I love about Advent in particular is that it allows you to kind of refocus your life and all the liturgical seasons seem to, you know, you have Lent, you have Easter, even in ordinary time. Um, but especially in Advent and Lent, it really calls you to kind of get back with the program, you know. So I'm going to show you three things that I do to prepare for Advent. Um, a good friend of mine a long time ago got me this um, Advent wreath, this um, wooden Advent wreath. So uh, any Advent wreath that you have is great. I just got these candles um, at the back of Mass the other day. And so then obviously, you know, three purple candles, one pink candle. And every day I, you know, obviously light them and pray um, the daily readings. I'll get into like the prayer things. I'm going to do a separate video on that. But I just want to show you the prayer aids that I have. So the Advent wreath with the candles is my number one go-to for personal prayer during Advent. Um, and we try to light it during mealtime too, just to kind of um, talk about the readings. Okay, my second um, go-to is this Jesse tree. And if you don't know anything about the Jesse tree, you can Google it. But basically, the Jesse tree is a... Um, is basically the 25 days or the 24 days before Christmas during the days of Advent and all the readings are prophetic readings telling about the coming of Jesus the Messiah so uh, this is actually hilarious this was at a St. Nicholas Day party a long time ago my kids were young my kids are teenagers now my kids were young and we had these really complicated crafts to do and but oh my gosh it was so they were so complicated but they're so nice they're felt and they had all these well this one this one broke but um so each ornament corresponds with a scripture reading so i might do a fast time lapse putting up that jesse tree but each day uh comes with a a reading and an ornament and so our family will do that every day um, and we'll, sometimes we forget and we get behind but we try to we put up an ornament every day um, and we read the reading I ha have them in these little Starbucks okay my other prayer aid you might have something like this I mean this is kind of elaborate this was another craft at, at school and um, it's an advent calendar I don't know if you can see that okay it's an advent calendar and on each of the days there are individual things to do. So like, let me look at the first one. Oh, that one's missing. <laughs> I'm gonna have to replace it. That, and that's another reason why I prepare all this because I'll go through my ornaments to make sure that all the ornaments are in good shape. And then same way with this. Um, okay, so it's supposed to have, it's supposed to have a little something to do on the back, something really simple. Today, it uh, for number two, I will do my work well today with joy for God. So they're all little simple things of um, kind of getting yourself closer to God, being mindful of the Advent season, being mindful of, you know, Jesus coming. And a lot of them are, my kids did this when we were, they were really young, so they were kind of more age appropriate. But 
I will be patient today. Now that's applicable to anybody. So the three things are the Advent wreath, the Jesse tree, and, um, and an Advent calendar. And really, you can get any one of these things. You, could, you can just go on the internet. Your, your Advent calendar can just be really simple. Your Advent wreath can be really simple. Um, or you can even do a paper Jesse tree. In a pinch, I've actually, um, yeah, I've got these really elaborate felt ones that was part of a craft at school. But one is the world, but the world uh, ornament that I had kind of, I don't know what happened to it. Maybe the dog ate it because our dogs do that sometimes. Uh, so I just printed one out from the internet and, you know, glued it on there. So it doesn't have to be elaborate. I'm, I'm happy that these are so nice and that we did this really elaborate craft back in the day. Um, but these are the three things that I, I do for my Advent prep because when you pray both for me individually and with your family, especially when you have kids, it's so good to have something tangible. And that's another thing that I love so much about being Catholic is that all the smells and bells of the liturgy are so tangible and they they have um, a spiritual meaning but they also they just kind of help connect us with God so I think especially for kids having you know having something tangible um, to see and to do those are the things that I think stick with uh, people throughout their life um, in terms of you know their faith formation and you know in terms of passing on the faith so I hope this has been helpful uh, it's been helpful for me to kind of get my act together I'm always doing that I always try to get my act together so uh, I will be um, talking more about Advent and Christmas uh, or preparing for Christmas through Advent I'm also going to be doing a, a day I'm going to release a daily video during Advent it's going to be a reflection video on a scripture reading it might correspond with the Jesse tree readings or it might correspond with a certain word and I'm also doing um, an Instagram Facebook um, challenge for you to also uh, when you watch the video you can um, participate by if the word is crown or the word for the day is prayer or whatever the word is if you can take a picture of something related to that word or that scripture reading and then post it and tag um, tag me at all about the grace either all about the grace Facebook page or my insta is grace 33 girl if you can tag there we'll, we'll see how many um, how many pictures we can get going on those specific words I'm back one more thing if you ever have um, a comment um, or for instance with this Advent thing if there's something that you do as a family or individually to prepare for Advent that I didn't mention um, or you have some suggestions about the things I did mention I'd love to hear your comments um, please uh, do subscribe that way you get these videos immediately when they're uploaded I do push them out on my social media but um, if you want to just get them uploaded uh, just subscribe that would be helpful um, for you and for me so thanks so much God bless